Hi, my name is Methat Al Masri, and today's video is about using the Phi three small language model in a simple C sharp console application with Olama and semantic kernel. At the bottom of this slide, you will find a companion article that you can refer to. Prerequisites for going through this video are .NET 8.0 and Olama and Visual Studio Code. First question is, what is a small language model? A small language model is a machine learning model typically based on a large language model, but of greatly reduced size. An SLM retains much of the functionality of the large language model from which it is built, but with far less complexity and computing resource demands. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the Phi 3 small language model, which is almost equivalent to the OpenAI GPT 3.5 model. You can download and make the small language model part of your application instead of having to use one that is remotely available. What is Olama? Olama is an application you can download onto your computer or server to run open source generative AI small language models such as Meta's Llama 3 or Microsoft's Phi 3. You can see the many models available at this link here. And here they are. All of these models are available on this site. But in order to use those small language models, you need to download an application onto your computer and you can go to this site to download it for your respective operating system. We will also be using Semantic Kernel. What is Semantic Kernel? Semantic Kernel is a lightweight open source development kit that lets you easily build AI agents and integrate the latest AI models onto your C Sharp, Python, or Java code base. Let's get started. I have installed Olama on my computer, so I can type in a command like this one, Olama, and say list, and it tells me the different models that are already installed on my machine. And I've got the Llama 3.1 and the Phi 3. In order to download the Phi 3, I can enter a command like this, Olama, pull, Phi 3, and I can just say the latest version. And it will go and get me the latest version. At this point, I can start using this particular model. So to create a new command line application, I'm going to type in .NET, new, console, and the output directory will be slmsk for small language model using semantic kernel. And I'll go into that directory. We will need to add the semantic kernel package. So I'm going to type in the following .NET add package. Microsoft semantic kernel and I want to target a specific version Hit enter there And now we see that it's installed the package successfully The next step is to go into VS code So I'm going to type in code dot here and go into VS code and here's my VS code Let's start by going into this csproj file and in there I'm going to add an exception to a particular warning that I want my application to ignore and that would be this. I wanted to ignore this specific error code. Otherwise I will get some errors. Now let's go into the main program.cs and do some coding. Let me delete what's in there. The first thing we want to do is create a builder and that would be obtained by calling the kernel dot create builder. The next thing we want to do is use the builder to open the small language model. And this we do by typing in this code. We will use semantic kernel to access the API. So with this builder services, we'll add an open AI chat completion targeting this particular model. And this model can be obtained from this URL, which is served by Olama. We can then get an instance of the kernel. And after that, let us get a chat completion service. And the code for that is this. Next, 
we want to create a new chat by specifying an assistant. Here, we're saying that the assistant helps people find information. The response has to be brief and should not exceed one paragraph. And if the assistant doesn't know the answer, then it should say, I don't know the answer. Next is we'll instantiate a string builder object. Next, we will loop through the chat history and that just requires us to create a while loop and the contents of the while loop will look like this. Let's look at the code in the while loop. The first thing is we want to just display text saying that we want the user to enter the question. And this is where the question is read into the application and it gets added to the chat history. We clear the string builder in case there's something in there. And then we use this chat completion service that we defined up here to pass our chat to the model. And the model will respond with a message. We're going to take that message and print it out and append it to the string builder. But here we're going to add this history back to the chat and we start all over again. So let's see if this is going to work. So we go to the terminal window here and let's do a .NET run. So we're being asked to enter a question. Let me enter the question. How many pyramids are there in Egypt? It's working on it and here comes the response. The exact number is uncertain but experts estimate that over a thousand or more complex structures like step pyramids have been identified, blah, 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 blah. Let's ask another question. How long does it take to fly from Vancouver to Calgary? And the response says it takes one to two hours. What we determined is we can use some of these small language models with our C Sharp applications. Let's try something else. Let's download the Llama 3.1 model. So I'm going to enter this command Olama pull Llama 3.1 colon latest. So it pulls it for me. Now what do I need to do in my application so that it changes from using the Phi 3 model to the Llama? model. So I can replace this one with Llama 3.1 and nothing else changes. So I'm going to run the application again. And my question this time is who was the greatest Caesar? So it says opinions vary, but it thinks Julius Caesar is perhaps the greatest of all the Caesars. Thank you for watching this video. And if you think it's useful, please give it the thumbs up. Until I see you in another video, take care.